Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel as official or my students what will help you understand cryptocurrency well today I'm going to be showing you how you can get your well, your transactions or your gate chain transactions in a few easy steps with gate.io now because a lot of people have been asking me and I've been um, asking on how they can get their transaction like everything that has to do with your transaction your buying and selling your P2P your everything that you've been doing on the gate chain directly on your gate.io so guys before I step right into that give me a thumbs up for this video subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you get updates whenever we make our post so now let's hop right into that so for us to do that we need to go to our gate.io so here is my gate.io as you already know this is the home page of the gate.io so um let me just confirm that with you guys okay so this is our gate.io for us to go get our all-in-one transaction we need to go to this place that says wallet so go to this wallet uh, go to wallet over um, fund overview uh -huh. so this is our fund overview allow it to load this basically everything that you have in your phones and all that and all that you can go you can just scroll through to learn more about it as you can see here this one has to do with your um your user id your test scheme as you can see i have i'm um, still a tie zero i'm still a tie zero and like i showed you in my previous video on how to identify your tire level and how to increase your tire level uh it's what i told you that it's automatically increased the tire level is dependent on your level of transaction on the gates.io platform so uh, i think um for you to be a tire one remember you should be at least you should have traded about up to i think one btc or so so i think i have a, i have a video on that so in case you are yet to um watch that video i'll drop that link in the description of this video so that you can get updates on that so guys um the nice thing you want to take a look at us now we are remember we are in our wallet we went to wallet and we went to fund overview so having gotten to the fund overview the next place you go to is this place that says um billing details you tap on billing details and it brings out those options so um tap on all bills now i want to show you so this is our billing details where it led us this is the page for the billing details as you can see these are all the bills that you have on gate or everything that you must have sorry sorry uh, sorry guys let me scroll up so um these are all the transactions you must have you have the these are all the transactions you must have i, I have done on gate or io at least for some time now so as you can see this is just the first page you can go to the second third at least it moves directly you can watch through you can scroll through left and right so now i have here is all you can actually um maybe you want to get just the, uh, the your details your transaction um details for contract bills you just have to come on this place and say contract tap on this place that says contract bill if it is that of the option b you tap on uh, you see them here appearing here as you can see mine says no record so when you tap on this one that says option bill you it will also bring out the record that is if you have any of it when you tap on warrant bill it will also bring out the ones that are here mine still says no record as you can see the more you tap here it's more like tapping on any of this so i can tap on lend profit let's just tap on e to see so guys because i've been doing some lending and all that so i can just come here to check my lending profits as you can see guys you can see i engage in daily um other than n on the gate of io platform and here i'm on like my daily gains my daily um lend profit as you can see interest income total interest guys so that this is just it uh, I can also tap on liquidity mining bills to check if I have any liquidity mining bills and mine says no record so just like I was saying um, for you to know if you just don't stretch yourself just come to this place and say um, um, we can also have the you just come to this place and say all bills 
now this is your obvious you can come here and select the, the token like the coins the sorry the coins that you want to uh, make research about or you can just leave it in all so that it will be all the exchange all the um, product um, product you must have been engaged in will be everything will just be in here so you can also filter this way i say this one that says filter and select the market type and all that just like um so here that says asset ledger markets margin trading crypto lending hold and end and all that so it depends on what you want then you also have the leverage the opportunity to to select the time and date that's even you want to you just want to take um the transaction details for last year 2021 or you want to check the transaction de um, details for january only you can just come here and edit it come here and select okay let's just say okay let's select um um sorry january one okay let's say yes we're selecting january one as you can see it has changed here i want uh, the time you can also decide the time you want to check to zero zero uh then we want to select this one that's from from january to okay let's say from january 1 to january 30th 31st sorry so just january 31st and the time is zero 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 so you can say filter that is it so if you have any transaction that you must have um done within those period of time it will appear just like here we have it here now as you can see guys we have it here these are some of all the transactions we did within the space of that one month january 1st to january 31st so now having done that you can also go back here today's date is um uh, march today is march 21st so um and we want to check our transaction from March 20 from January 1st 00 to March 21st uh March 21st around um I already made a transaction today so let me just see let me just see to then so let's say filter not the filter it as as you can see these are some of the almost all the transaction I did okay okay so this is um all, everything i've done um from january to march today is march um 21st as you can see i already have a lot some of some i already have some a lot of on um, transactions for today as you can see here i have let's just scroll up here i have here uh, 21st of March I have here yeah, lend account I have here yeah, lend account lend exchange and lend account exchange account lend account is basically that's basically what I do now I don't you don't even need to come here to come and do anything you just need to once you lend your uh, once you lend a particular token your inc your interest accrues daily and all that so that's basically what I've been doing guys that is what I have been doing on Guido IO. So guys, having done this, having opened this, you can just scroll up here and come to this place that says download and voila, you will download your document. Uh, I, I'll take a look at it, okay. Mine has been downloaded. Now tap on this place that says my purse, my purse log to open and check it and go through it and know and see how it looks like or what it looks like. So guys, this is just it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification icon. Remember, for you to get this, you just need to go to your wall, your wallet. Look at it here. Your wallet. Go to funds, funds overview. Um, go to billing details. Here is your billing details. Tap on it. Click on all bills. Click on all bills and voila, it is already here. You can select the date, change the date, just uh, select any option and click on downloads and it will be automatically downloaded, guys. So this is just it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification icon. See you in my next class. Bye.